This is The Wedding Guest and this is Disrupt TV. It's Valentine's season and I'm right here at Aralia by Nature Flower Store. As you can see, I'm surrounded in beautiful flowers. It's Valentine's season, so of course I had to overdo the red for you guys. Today I'm gonna give you a complete recap of what I feel was my best kiss, best moment, sweetest couple, cutest couple. As you know, we're wedding guests, so love season, Valentine's season, we go hand in hand. We absolutely love it, and that's why I'm so excited. I can't wait to give you the recap. Let's go! Yaga. with the best kiss. For me, I felt like the best kiss was Osas and Barrow, so Osas 2015. It was very romantic. They were very into it. They were very into each other. It was actually probably one of the best we've seen so far. Actually, the best we've seen so far. So Osas 2015 definitely takes the award for best kiss of wedding guest. And then, most enveloping kiss. It was very interesting to watch, to say the least. It was, I don't know if you've watched the wedding guest episode so far, you will already know the wedding or the, you will already know the kiss that I'm talking about, the couple's kiss that I'm talking about that I felt was very enveloped. You know, they really enveloped each other. So that one will definitely be Lillian Ubi 2015. music. If you go back to the videos, you can definitely check it out. And if you, you could just put it down in the comment below and see if you agree with me or not. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But I personally feel that was the most enveloping kiss. So that's your award. For the best dance of wedding guests so far, the award definitely... Actually, this one is a pretty close call. I'll say it's between two couples. So, Only Tell Me 2015, they were really, really into it. Like, they gave up their all. Even the bride was like giving them in her big wedding dress and everything. And it was Shakuji Bobos, you know, they were going in. But then we have Bosas 2015. Osas was giving them. At the traditional, she gave them. At the white, she gave them. And Barrow was like, nah, she's not gonna win. So he was really like trying to keep up. And he's like, and you know, and they were really giving, my woman, my everything was their song and they went in. So because this is a pretty close call, I'll say one rose for Oni Tebi 2015. And then, big ass rose. For Sass 2015. They made me feel like I wanted to be like married and dancing and be, be excited, you know. So love season, they take the cake. Next we have best romantic gesture. This one, I don't know, I think this is hands down floored. He just floored it down for everyone. It's Mojas 2015. Rupert Duncan, despite the fact that his voice is, you know, not really on the recording side, he gave them. Like he was really giving it his all. He was singing for his wife. <laughs> Like, it was beautiful to watch because, you know, it takes a man that's really in love to do that to himself in front of people. So I would definitely say, most romantic gesture, hands down, Mojas 2015. Hi, Mofa. Here you go. And then for most dreaming bride. This one is hands down. Lillian, now Lillian Franklin. I did herself. She had three gorgeous, 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 gorgeous dresses. And they were so far from colors, so it was really beautiful. Like she stood out, her hair was amazing. She looked good. So she definitely takes the cake for most dreamy bride, because each look she came out with was like, ooh. And I remember when I interviewed her, she actually said she had one more, but she thought that she was really tired, so she might not wear the last one. I actually wish she did wear the last one, so she can give us, you know, Kill us a little bit. But most dreamy bride, definitely Lillian Franklin. And the most dreamy wedding, I think Zafaya outdid themselves with this one, is T. Dre 2015. The decor was amazing. It was like you were like in a whimsical castle 
with flowers everywhere. It was just so Valentine's season-y. So both of you, here you go. This is your gift. It's like a day that starts brand new. Girl, I'm so amazed at all the things you do. So far, I hope you've been enjoying all the couples that I've been giving roses to. I've been giving them all the care of roses for winning their different prizes. But now, I'm going to tell you who I think the happiest couple and the cutest couple were. The happiest couple, this one is a pretty close tie. It's between TJ 2015 and MJ 2015. Simply because, in TJ 2015, the groom gave a very heartfelt message and he was really happy. And then, most important part, I really liked the game, the shoe game that they played during the wedding. So that was really beautiful. It just showed me how, you know, into each other and how much they knew each other. And then, MJ 2015. Maren was ecstatic. So in as much as John isn't very expressive, he carried his wife, throwing her around, and they were just really, 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 really happy. So that one is a hard one. So I'm gonna give each of them two roses. So two roses for you, and two roses for you, and the rest for me. And the cutest couple definitely goes to Mojo 2015. Dari Aliu was absolutely in love with his wife and Morami was absolutely in love with her husband. It was very beautiful to watch. Like I said, both of them really made me feel like love is a beautiful thing. So this Valentine's season, find your love and come right here to Aurelia by Nature and you know, buy a few roses, 200 roses maybe. Show your love, express yourself, be like Dari. He also gets the award for best wedding message. <laughs> So that was really beautiful. So definitely he wins best wedding message, hands down. Modre 2015, I think you deserve a bouquet because you've won two awards now. Here you go. So final category for the awards show of wedding guests. Most current wedding, hands down, goes to Lillian Ubi 2015. I mean, it was insane. And if I move, she go move. Baby mama, if I dance, I let you like that. Come on, she go dance, I let you like that. And if I move, say she go move. You know one of those weddings where everybody who is anybody was there? And then normal people were there too. So it was a bit of both, like it was a mash. And it was just insane. Like I had so much fun at the wedding. I don't think I really sat down. It was most turnt wedding definitely, but it's a really, really close call. I mean, I put second place is Bo 2015 because we're on a sass in New York, it was. <laughs> when we get back, I'll let you guys know Tajay's top tips for Valentine's Day. Walk on down, down together. Let no man put us on down. Tajay's top tips for Valentine's Day. Okay, so this year Valentine's Day is on Sunday. So I would say, start in church. You want your day to go well. So go to church, thank the Lord, your number one love of your life. Say happy Valentine's Day to him. Have an amazing celebration. After all, Valentine's Day started from St. Valentine. It's a whole story. Two. If you have no boo, that's fine. I'm gonna tell you, go to a restaurant, order two meals, eat them both by yourself, feel good girl, and go home. Two meals, if it's a guy you're having two meals, nobody's gonna question you. If you're a girl you're having two meals by yourself, people are gonna give you side eye, block everybody out, eat your food and go home. You'll feel fulfilled, trust me. If you do have a boo, treat your partner to a romantic day. Like it's not hard to do a romantic day. You don't actually have to break the bank to, to have a romantic like Valentine's Day. You can go to the beach, beach picnic, spread their blankets on the floor, some sandwiches, nothing too major, nothing too serious. Just have an amazing, relaxed day. Or you could just stay at home, cook for your partner. I mean, it's always a romantic gesture when a guy cooks for, you know, their female. Women cooking for the guy, if you're, if you're like me, you don't cook very often and you cook that day, it will feel special. But if you cook regularly, don't cook, go outside. On Valentine's Day, there is never a time where flowers and chocolate is a bad idea. So I would say come to Aralia by Nature for your roses. They have beautiful roses. 
They smell divine. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. They actually smell so beautiful. And I'm a roses girl, but I'm a single rose kind of girl. So if you feel like you don't want to spend too much money because it's flower, their flowers actually start, their single roses start from 2.5. So that's pretty affordable. And then it goes all the way up. So if you want to get a bouquet of flowers and you feel like you're a baller, you have money, you know, you have some stuff, you can spend, you get a bouquet for 15K for your baby. I'm sure she'll feel very special because a bouquet of flowers is just always beautiful. And it's, it, it's a good picture taking thing too, like utensil. So flowers, chocolate, have a meal, picnic, go to church. Make sure your partner feels special on this day. It's not a good thing if you're in a relationship and you don't feel special on Valentine's Day. I mean, there's some people that say, oh, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. That's all fine and dandy for you. But if, if you're with a partner that celebrates Valentine's Day, then make sure that person feels special. If you love the person, it's the right thing to do. And most importantly, have an amazing time. Happy Valentine's Day.